Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 49 of Ocean Block. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's getting up there. Um, I'm, I'm really excited. I haven't been this excited about a mod pack in a long, long time. Tell me. This mod pack is amazing. I love it. I remember it makes me feel like back in the good old days um, when I made my first video was from Skyden. I was so excited about that series. Um, yeah, that was a long time ago, <laughs> but this has that feeling that, that it's new and exciting and it just sucks you in and makes you want to play more and more. <laughs> um, because all the, the Sky Den was like my first modded Skyblock and I had a blast with that. Um, and I'm having a blast with Ocean Block. I want to see this through to the end like I did with my Sky Den series. So I'd like to go into, uh, you know, the the end game quest line uh, eventually when, when we're ready uh, I'm not sure uh, that we're ready just yet I think I may need to expand and make another area uh, because <laughs> I'm starting to fill up my little basement and that's with the compacting machines. I have I have a few more open, but I'd really like more power, and I'd like my power to be in this dimension because uh, that way I can feed it and not have to do it manually. Uh, I can feed it automatically. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but I have been busy with the mechanism stuff. I Oh my goodness, uh, I've been automating it, uh, just letting it sit there and run and, and make things. Um, and I'm finding out, uh, let's look, look at my diamond levels. I'm down to 1.6k diamonds. Now I had over 2,000-ish. Uh, before I started doing all this automation, uh, but I have a lot of the higher end uh, mechanism items uh, stored, so there's a lot of materials in that. Uh, I, I automated uh, the atomic alloys, and that's what it's doing right now. It's trying to <laughs> Uh, build up these other guys to make up for the fact that it just uh, made a bunch of atomic alloys and I believe I have it making the circuits too uh, yeah so it's only on 81 elite control circuits so it's using it's using them up uh, to, to make more of these and it's taken a while uh, and I was having to wait a lot on this pulverizer to pulverize uh, the diamond dust. So I went ahead and upgraded it to resonant interval components because I'm eating a lot of diamonds with this. I added another um, in metallurgic infuser to accept refined obsidian so we could make the elite uh, or the atomic alloy. Uh, that turns it purple because it's got obsidian dust on it. <laughs> um, anyway, and I had to add a crusher to crush the obsidian because I couldn't, I couldn't do it in the pulverizer. I was just going to add it to the pulverizer, the one that uses uh, as the diamonds, but it wouldn't, you can't put obsidian in a pulverizer, period. Oh, I don't know. I had to do it through the crusher. Uh, but it does work. I now have uh, 128 reserve obsidian dust. And that uh, 
gets pulled in to get turned into refined obsidian dust in here. And this is uh, adding diamond dust and making those. That's what's taken so long is the diamond dust. I think it might, it may be caught up to, uh, hung up more likely. Because uh, I've had to restart it a couple of times. It just it's not doing anything. Wait, it's, it's processing. Uh, sometimes it, I think it's not doing anything when it's actually doing stuff. It's just it's down here right now. Uh, <laughs> so that's where where it's currently making things. Uh, I wish it could do more. I don't think. Um, I can increase how many crafts a second that it can do. I, I tried putting uh, crafting upgrades in here. They wouldn't go, so I put speed upgrades. I don't know if it helps or not, but I put some in this guy too. <laughs> it, it can't hurt. Uh, so uh, I also needed to make some more alloys in order to upgrade that component um, and while I was at it I went ahead and made uh, the seeds for it so I have that uh, quest to we already had like an end bar seed which I went ahead and planted um, and then I planted the other ones the there's the endirium which it took um, the Supremium farmland. This one only needed uh, Imperium, but I had uh, Supremium, so I might as well use it because I don't want to downgrade. Hey, Cobalt Seeds! Cool! A hardened battery. That's pretty nice. What is that? An Imperium Growth Accelerator. I forgot about those. Grows the plant above it faster. I wonder if, if I go put this out on my farm, will that will that only work on the tilled earth or will that um work on the botany pots. I don't know. It can't hurt, right? To try it? Um, it says it's got like a 48 block range. So what if I just put it right there? I don't know. I can't. I can't tell. Like I said, it can't hurt to have it there. It is pretty blue. It's a pretty blue color. <laughs> so I'll I'll look. I'll watch it and and see if it helps or not. It's my cobalt seed. That's pretty cool, but I have like tons of cobalt. I might need to actually plant those diamond seeds. Where are they? There they are. I just don't know. I I don't know what to replace. I I plucked up a bunch of my nether star uh, plants. I'm down to one now because I figured. If I need more, I can just turn on the Wither Builder again. Um, whereas this will save me from having to. Uh, but I do need more diamonds. Holy shizoli, have I been using up the diamonds? Uh, so I think since I have that uh, power pot on Draconium. Uh, that I can 
take up one of my draconium and put down a diamond instead. There. Alright, um, let's get that seed gone. Um, I picked up all the machines that were over there. Put that in there as well. Uh, I, I'm not ready for them just yet, so I'm going to toss them in here. Oh, but what? What else did I have? Oh, the signalum seeds. I, I, I didn't even see them over there. Another ender pouch. Which, that's nice, but uh, it's good to have a backup. <laughs> uh, but I got like a whole bunch of those now. So let's look at the quest. Let's see if we can do any of those a little bit easier now that we have all this automation. Uh, mechanism. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's do a heat generator. Oh, that looks simple enough. Um, let's add it. Add it over here. Um, control click. Alright, gotta put that in the inventory. A heat generator. Um, let's go through and add some more things. Uh, gas burning generator. Fart power. <laughs> uh, fart power. Oh, that looks complicated. Um, put you there. A bio generator. Ooh, that's weird. Okay. And. What, an osmium compressor? A. Oh, lag. And this energized smelter. And then we have uh, these tier installers. I think this is something like uh, the iron chest upgrades where you can get all the components together and then you just click it onto the block instead of having to put it in your inventory so you don't have to pick it up and reconfigure it and all that jazz. <laughs> um, so we'll see if we can get through these and then we'll look into those if we have enough time. Um, and possibly these other two lines, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so let's do the gas burning. Oh my goodness! Storm. <laughs> I don't want to catch uh, catch my boats on fire. I need I need metal ships that don't burn. Oh my goodness. It sounds like a real storm. <laughs> wow, that's so intense. I love thunder. Wow, sorry for the distraction. Um, all right, uh, we got the heat generator. Boom, we, let's take the speed upgrade off because it's distracting me. Um, yeah, let's do... Yeah, uh, we need a bunch of steel casings. 
One, two, three, four, no, five, no, four, because this one doesn't take one. So I need four sets of structural glass. There we go, there's our four casings. What is this? An electrolytic core. Whoa! I'm missing osmium and iron dust. I hate having to break that down again. So I just need one, so I need two osmium dust and iron dust. Oh wait, I got one. Um, can I put you in the polarizer? I can. And... generator. Nice. I wonder how much RF it take these things to create. A generator that uses the heat of lava or other burnable resources to produce energy. A generator that harnesses the varying molecular gases to produce energy. Nice. Okay. So we need the bio generator now, which I don't have this biofuel. Ah, oh, so you could put stuff in the crusher and create biofuel. Um, leaves look easy enough. I don't know that I have any. It looks like you can put any organic material because I've got tons of plants up there. I only need um, two of those. Oh, I can get two out of seeds. What about um, Wheat seeds. We'll take wheat seeds. Yes, and it'll give me two. Well, that's perfect. <laughs> that's all I need. And I have tons of wheat seeds. I really need to get all of this stuff hooked up. Oh, see. this in the crusher, I think I want in the crusher. Oh, you're not a crusher. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I, was, I thought that was the crusher. Uh, it's, it's an enrichment chamber. Oh no, I put it over here. Clunk, clunk. <laughs> Should have everything else. Nice. Um, 
osmium compressor and an energized smelter is what's left. That doesn't look too bad. We just need a couple buckets. Oh, it's used up all the parts. Oh, boys. It's building up reinforced alloys now. Let's see, is it done with all the circuits? Looks like it. We just used a basic one. Nice. <laughs> It'll eventually catch up. Uh, let's see if we can come down here and steal. Oh. Oop. Four. Just one four, buddy. Osmium compressor. And then the energized smelter. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. There we go. There we go. We got a bunch. We got all of those done. The heat generator gives us an Imperium hammerhead. Not bad. The gas burning generator gave us a cobalt pickaxe head. The bio generator gave us a cobalt pickaxe head. The osmium compressor. Oh, a mob imprisonment tool. Nice. It's gas here. Um, Energized smelter gave us a tier two storage module. Not as good as a tier three or a tier four, but it's better than a tier one. Okay, let's look at these cards and see which one, how far up we can get. Can we get to the ultimate tier installer? That's what I want to know. Um, but first, let's um, let's throw these guys in here. Throw, didn't I get another? Yes. I wanted stack. I have one right there. Oh, these must not stack up. Okay. Um, let's go throw our cobalt stuff up. <laughs> and throw it up. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Let's throw it up here. Got got a specific drawer just for that, so might as well use it. And. Let's look at these, um, these upgrades. Oh, that doesn't look bad. Basic tier upgrade. Uh, an elite, an advanced, and an ultimate. I don't know which one is. Oh, that's definitely gonna be after the advanced. Yeah. Oh boy, look at that. I think we can do it though. I think we can do it. No problem. We got all the bits and bobs already in here. Let's do the basic one. There we go. Advanced. Uh, the elite, and then the ultimate. Oh, I don't have it make an ultimate control circuit. I haven't gotten up to those yet. That's 
easy enough though. We just made a couple ourselves. I've got all of that. Nice. Um, what do we get? A basic tier installer gets us some mystical orange petals. I already have those orange ones. Would have been nice to at least get a different color. <laughs> Quartz and wrist iron seeds, I already have those, but that one, that's useful still. Slime steel seeds, I uh, a seed I did not have. The ultimate tier installer gets us the one pro helmet. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look at these. See what the slime steals gives us. Where are you? Coral seeds. Oh, that would have been useful way back when before I made it. Coral seeds. It's pretty. Awesome, we got it down. Okay, um Let's see if we can get to the ultimate energy cube. An advanced energy cube. Okay. An elite energy cube. episode here and we'll do this or I probably will do this in between episodes uh, and then finish it off next episode so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye